So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the client side integration with the new Teams app integration with Content Manager. So pretend in this example that I'm just a user um, and I want to add this to a team space. Now I want to capture some records or posts from a team space. So again, this is an example of what a user could do if you choose to roll this out. So I can actually go up to the app, add a tab option up the top. From adding a tab, I can search for the app that I need to. And, and again, in our environment, I have a few. I can select that and it will be added to the actual tab. Now I can post this to the channel or I can hot turn that off if required. So now that I'm actually adding the app, that app is now communicating directly with Content Manager. So again, in the files view is what the end users will see. That's all the files that they've got sitting within the team space. You can see I've got a raft of files and different types sitting here. And if I wanted to capture something from the file section into Content Manager, I would go to the app. From here, I would go, okay, let's go and check in a file. And I'd like to check in this Excel spreadsheet. Now I can check this in um, manually. So I'm going to, again, have the ability to add a check-in style. Now, again, I can seal these check-in styles, or I can even toggle to a record um, profile form. And again, select my record type and go through the normal profiling option. In this example, I'm going to select a check-in style. I might use the automatic one uh, previously used before. And that's going to then check that in to the relevant folder that I've confirmed any other additional fields that I could have actually defaulted by that check-in style. And then when I click save, it's going to go into Content Manager. So again, now I've got a record sitting within Content Manager that is sitting there. Again, same before, I can edit, view, see locations, workflow the file, send it to my favorites in the app. I can open it up in the web client. And when I open it up in the web client in this example, I can actually go and see that file sitting within Content Manager as well. So potentially I might actually want to capture this post or this conversation that we're having uh, about a document or, or different things. So here I've actually uploaded the file and said, please review the Yesh. He's given me a thumbs up and has looked at it. Thanks, Yesh. Again, now if I wanted to actually capture that post within Content Manager, I'd go to the Content Manager app, as I mentioned before. Now at the top here, we were looking at files. We can now look at posts. So in this example before, I actually have captured this once. You can see here, I've got a bit of a refresh option. Now again, whether this is a document or a post, it doesn't really matter. Basically things can change over a period of time. And in this example, I would like to actually now check this record in again, because obviously this post or this conversation has changed. So I can select that record and say, check in. Now, new revisions have been created um, of the out of date documents. Again, that little sync icon is gone. If I click on that record, again, using the menu option, I can go down and actually open that document in the web client and I'll bring that up to that record. Now, in Content Manager, these are saved as email because these posts or conversations are actually a, um, stored in a uh, shared mailbox within Teams uh, and Outlook. Basically, I can view that email. I can see the thread, I can see the re reaction that I had from um, Yesh and any sort of comments where I've uh, again posted thanks Yesh. I can open that up in Teams, I can see the files associated to that if I wanted to and download those files or, or revisions as well. Now in that same example, let's pretend I've got a document. This document's in the files section, so let's pretend I keep editing this document or I'm working with someone in my team that you know we continue to keep editing this and, and making versions and in Teams and SharePoint. So if I come in here and actually make a new revision, uh, or sorry, version to this document, call it version three, and then again, that's been saved in Teams. Content Manager is unaware of that change. This could, it could be this document, we could have lots of different changes on it, could be getting updated by a number of different people. If I go into the Content Manager tab and have a look, you'll see that that depreciation document is now again also out of sync, similar to that post before. So again, I have the ability to actually manually check that back in and get a new revision going into Content Manager at that point in time. So if I select that file, again, go through and have a look at that within the web client. You'll see there on that metadata property, I had version three. If I come in here and have a look at um, the document, I can see this is the latest copy of that. I can go up to the revisions within Content Manager and I can look at how that document has changed over time as well. Now again, that document could keep getting updated in Teams as part of a process. It could be creating a new policy together, or a new document somehow, a brief, it doesn't really matter within 
the content manager app, I have the ability to bring documents in manually when and if I needed to, to check those into content manager. Lastly, on the uh, client side app, you also do have the ability to have some automation. So again, as you saw before, if I was to select a file that needed to be captured, we have the ability to say, check in. We have this captured in, capture in content manager option, which is that automation I spoke before about in the server side options on a folder that has the ability to capture them automatically. So again, within adding a tab, you might have lots of different folder structures. You might want to put the invoices to the invoice section in content manager, the project files to the project files example. And again, what I've got the ability here, what the team have set up is that any files that are going into you know, either of these two folders are automatically going to get captured based on this check-in style. So in this example, Steve's created this up. He's used a different record type and it's going to that folder. And if we have a look at the other one, it's going to a completely different folder or a part of that folder. So again, that ability to automate those scenarios and, and again, within subfolders or subfolders within subfolders, really it, it comes up to how you'd like to automate that within, um, I suppose, how you roll this out. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact Wildlinks.